What's good? Welcome back to the show with Speakers Lab. The gang is back with Beaker and Lulu and Melly. Look, guys, we're back here once again for sneak peek number three from the 2021 Clash update. Guys, look, it's been a crazy week. First, we had Town Hall 14, probably the biggest thing that's come to Clash in a year and a half. And whether or not you're going to Town Hall 14, it's crazy. It's, it's a big thing coming to the game. Secondly, we had kind of a smaller sneak peek, but still good. Today, guys, we're going back to something that is not only new, but also just crazy. And like, I never thought this would exist in the game. You can now officially upgrade your builder huts. Guys, no longer are they gonna just sit in the corner and get owned when it's the final building in the base. Look, they got a little expo in there. They're gonna fight back. And the builder himself is gonna repair buildings around. So look, get your shades on, get your shoes off because guys, we gotta check this out. We gotta look at these in action. So guys, they may have kind of a corny name, Battle Builder Sneak Peek begins in three, two, one. All right, guys, so I loved doing the first sneak peek about Tunnel 14, but this is kind of even more fun in some ways because we're just talking about, what are they called again? The Battle Builders. I keep wanting to call them Battle Huts. Also a good name, Battle Huts. I like it. Guys, the sad thing about this, look, everybody sit down, okay? Because this is this is going to be bad news. I'm very sorry to tell you this, but this is only going to be for Tunnel 14. Aww. I'm sorry. I really wish they would have reconsidered that and make this for like Tunnel 9 and up because it's so fun, dude. It's so goofy. Really, if you have an expo, you should be able to have this because it looks like an expo. It is an expo. Dude, this is like a mini expo. Look at that damage. It's crazy. So guys, as you can see here, there's multiple levels and they, man, they're all pretty good. Okay, so you start out with your level one builder's hut. It does nothing. It's a, it literally does nothing. It just sits there and the builder sleeps inside. 250 hit points. You guys remember the day when your queen could first take out a builder's hut with one hit? I remember that. It's like 30, what is it? Like 31, 32, something like that. Anyway, after this level, you go to level two, Dude, that's so crazy. It's like, <laughs> it's a completely different building. So it gets quadruple the hit points. It does damage and it also allows the builder to repair buildings. Guys, that is what we've got to see here. So I want to kind of see if we have four builders huts next to each other, are they going to repair each other? Guys, we got to check this out. Hang on. All right, guys, we got... What? Guys, I have not seen this yet. I I am in shock. So they're like they're like knights now. They're not builders anymore. Yo, they're they Oh my god. I am in shock right now, guys. I can't, I can't believe. It. So guys, we're spectating ourselves here. Here we go. What? Wait for this, guys. Oh! That's so sick. All right, guys. So what is the build So guys, let's step up the big guns. There's another thing I want to show you guys because these are now considered a defense, right? And so uh, troops that attack defenses like hogs, balloons, giants, they're really gonna, I don't know if I would say benefit from this, but you know what I mean? They're gonna go for builder huts now. So builder huts at Tunnel 14 anyway, they're not gonna have the problem of being the last building on the base anymore because they're gonna, this is truly shocking, dude. The builders are so good at, at getting it back up full health. This is going to change the game. I don't think it's going to be that OP because it's not that bad. I mean, it's like they're not building that fast, but they are building up buildings that are that are getting damaged. All right, guys, so let's do the ultimate test. I've got the Barb King over here. Let's drop him. Here we go. Check this out. This is probably going to kill it. This is probably good. Level 80 King. There you have it, guys. When they go down, oh, that looks so sick. They go down into that, like, I mean, it's actually pretty terrifying. Like, I wouldn't go down there. Are you kidding? That, like, bunker down there? What are you, what are you guys doing to that? I don't want to know. But uh, anyway, you can see here, all you got to do to stop this thing from healing the other buildings. I mean, we should really call it healing. It's like repairing the buildings, but it, it's more like healing. All you got to do is, is kill the hut. And it's not that hard. It's a thousand hit points, which, you know, is less than any other defense. 
I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's gotta be less, dude. I feel like a cannon is like double that, or not, maybe not double, but a cannon is more than that. All right, guys, so this time, let's go all out. Let's get every one of these max. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. All right, everybody max, everybody max. This is actually gonna make a difference because each one of these now has what? How many? Okay, this is now like a mini cannon or, or mini expo, like we were saying. It has good hit points, it has good damage, and it also repairs the buildings around it. Guys, this is crazy. Okay, so does it repair any building? Like, does it repair a gold storage? Why don't we do that? Why don't we try that? Man, I gotta say, I really like the style on these things. I mean, this jungle theme, it's pretty cool with these huts. They definitely made these huts to go for Town Hall, uh, town hall 14, right? I don't know. I mean, I, I, I'm gonna miss Town Hall 13 style, that blue style, the blue ice style. All right. Oh, it looks so sick with all four of them, man. This is absolutely crazy. I'm I'm never gonna get used to this, never. So guys, I brought a couple spells this time because from what I read, you can affect these just like you can affect, you know, uh, troops that are attacking you back. So you can use lightning, you can use poison, stuff like that. Freeze is gonna affect these guys because they're just like, you know, clan castle troops. Essentially, they're gonna behave in the same way. I even heard, you know how you can zap a building? Like you can zap an inferno and it'll change its target. The same kind of thing will happen with this. If you zap the builder, he'll reset. He'll stop what he's doing and sort of reset, which I think is kind of crazy. We, we got to check this out in action. Uh, let's see. So guys, I'm going to dump a bunch of barbarians up on this tree up here. Let's see what happens. Hang on. Coming in hot. Oh, we're getting hit by the other, by the other uh, defenses over there. Dude, look at those builders. They're... Man, they really did make that harder. Like... They weren't able to keep it up, but they're definitely making it harder. Like, and it just looks awesome. It looks really awesome when they're healing it. It looks like, you know, it's, it's kind of looks like a healer, like the healing love vibes, whatever you call it. Dude, they, they won. Are they going to win? <gasps> Can you imagine how frustrating this is going to be? This is going to lead to some crazy funny replays, man, because you're going to get a 99% that is going to turn back into like, like, you know, when you get a, you get a building and it's like almost done, like, a, you know, 98%, you're almost done. Well, what if that final building is the builder hut and one more building? It, he's going to repair it and it's just going to like, it's going to make you feel even worse. You know what I mean? All right, guys, here we go again. Let's zoom in on this. So this is probably going to take over that one right there, but I kind of want to see what happens here. And we can even zap. Okay, so as we said, we can poison. Let's try a poison. Okay, let's see what it does. The poison should be coming up any second now. Dude, did it make a difference? Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was misreading that, but I'm pretty sure it said the poison will affect it just like normal. It'll slow things down. It'll, um... I mean, at least slow them down. You know what? I love this just for the simple fact that you have this new graphic in there, like this, this bunker, this like doomsday bunker down there. Builders, man, what's good? What have you guys been, you guys have been making a bunker this whole time? Like what's going on down there? I don't, again, I don't want to know. So guys, I think this is good. I wish we had more, like we've talked about this a lot. I wish the Autobot from the, from the builder base would come over here. They said specifically the sixth builder, the, the bonus builder, you can't do this with the bonus builder, which means you're not gonna be able to do it on the builder base either. So that's kind of a bummer. I wish they would work that in someday. We'll see. All right, guys, here we go. So you remember we did this the other day? We took this Oh my god, they look so creepy. They look so creepy with their, like, silver... I mean, it just looks like they have tinfoil on their heads. Like, what are you guys doing? What's what's going on? You okay? All right. So, look, you guys remember the other day we did this? We did this maze base for, for Town Hall 14. Pretty fun. And I think if we do this, if we just do the king... Oh, man, this is gonna be crazy. Okay, okay, let's try. Here we go. Oh, dude, it's like healers versus healers. Okay, I think the only problem here, the builders don't seem to have enough time to get... Oh, man, this is wild. Dude, they took down the king? <laughs> you know, I wish they worked on walls as well. That's kind of a good example right there. I mean, that's kind of like... Wow. Wow. 
These, the, have you guys noticed, they're kind of like somewhere between Archer Towers and Expos. You know how Expos shoot wicked fast and Archer Towers are kind of slow relatively compared to Expos. These seem to be in the middle where they're pretty efficient. Hey guys, you know what would look really cool? Oh, you guys are done when it comes, oh man. When the new hero comes to party, you guys are all done. I'm just, I'm sorry, but you are. So right there, guys, you can see there's gonna be ways of getting through these. If somebody has all five of these and they're in a really good strategic part of the base, yeah, it might be a little tougher, but in the end, these are not gonna be that different. It's gonna be, it's honestly a really creative way to get a new defense in here, right? I saw somebody say in the comments, that, like, there's a hundred buildings now, right? So you don't really wanna have too many more than a hundred buildings because then every building is a percent. And if you get like 150, that's gonna be awkward, right? Some buildings are not gonna be worth anything, which is weird. So this is a great way of getting you know, new buildings, technically new buildings, but they're, you know, over the top of existing buildings. And plus, this is something people have asked for for years, you know, like people have wanted this forever. This is so sick. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh my God, that's right. They're gonna repair themselves. Wait, so if you, if you wanted to do this, you'd have to go really fast. Oh, we did it. Dude, I think it was like three, right? I think, it, I think it was that after like three or four. So definitely possible. If somebody has all these in one area and you really wanted to do this, it wouldn't be too hard because again, they're not that heavy of a building. They're nothing compared to like a gold storage or something. You know, they're, they're like 1500 hit points, which is really nothing in the grand scheme of things. Hey guys, one more thing that we have not tried yet. I kind of want to see what they do against balloons. So let's start up here because I think this will be a good example. One-on-one, -on -one, one balloon. Okay, is one hit... Dude, are they gonna make it? No way! Okay, okay, so a balloon is kind of perfect against this. Did you see how perfect that was? Like the final hit barely got it down. But I think if we're talking about four on one, it's gonna be a little different, but we'll see. Oh yeah, it's a wrap, it's done, dude. All right, let's try two. One, two. Okay, we're in, we got one hit, but then the other one's gonna heal him up so fast, that's so fun. Even if this is not the most OP thing, which I don't think it's gonna be, guys. I don't think this is gonna change the game that much. It's it's really cool, it's a, like a novel idea, but it's I think it's one of those things like, well, I almost said like super troops, but super troops are gonna be more consequential than this, I think, although this is cool. The only problem, guys, I'm not a real big fan of the fact that this is only Town Hall 14. Like no one else is gonna get to use this. Not that many people are gonna be Tunnel 14. I would like to know the stats of people who are even max Tunnel 13. There can't be that many people. And yeah, like you can go to Tunnel 14 whenever. You don't have to be max, max. But I don't know if that many people are gonna have this. We'll see. Anyway, guys, let's drop uh, a million skeletons. Here we go. Okay, so are the builders able to fight back the skeletons? Not really, but they're doing better than I ever would have expected. So the skeletons do not much damage, but when there's a million of them, yeah. Uh, so they don't attack the builder itself. No, 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 no. Nobody goes after the builder itself. The builder only dies, or not dies, you know, he goes underground when his building gets taken out, which is kind of cool. It's, it's kind of a cool feature that is pretty unique, right? Like no other defensive thing works like that. It's kind of cool. Anyway, guys, like we said, that is it for today. Thank you for coming out. We love you guys. If you enjoyed this one, be sure to let us know in the comments below. Leave two for Lulu. I hope we get an update soon. I mean, what is this? Sneak peek number three? Okay. No matter what happens next, man, we will see you guys right here, hopefully tomorrow, on the one and only Beaker's Lab. Peace.